Hey guys, welcome back to the Crafty Reviewer. Uh, today we're getting crafty. So today we're going to turn this plywood to this. Don't worry guys, I'll show you step by step how I do it. And uh, let's get to it. Like a bell cut. Hey guys, welcome back again. Uh, so today we're going to be doing another project. Uh, we're going to do, be doing a folding shelf, actually two of them outside here just by our laundry room door and we're gonna have them fold up with these cool hinges we got right here doesn't look like much right but it actually folds up and locks just like that pretty neat right so uh, and to unlock it you just put you just have to push this little thing down and it closes and so it'll basically be like that I'm mounted on the wall and then the shelf will be up here and it's gonna close it's gonna close and be flush with the wall well mostly flush with the wall so um, let's get to it, huh? And thanks again for tuning in. Please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, leave a comment down below. To let's get crafty, huh? guys so that was me sanding it now let's stain it you know what I mean we're gonna make it look nice with this uh, classic oak look in that look on there it's gonna uh, darken it up it's pretty light so I'm gonna think I'm gonna do two coats and see how I like it so let's stain some uh, wood now huh? it's not dirty you guys when I do my uh, staining projects just like uh, any other project where uh, besides paint that I don't I'm not gonna be able to clean my brush from I use these uh, little throwaway brushes. Uh, literally, I'll pack them for just like five bucks at uh, the store. And hashtag pro tip: if you can't find your paint key, a, a flathead screwdriver works just just fine. You be a little bit more careful on the edges so it doesn't slip off and stab yourself. But it'll work just fine. If you're opening something like this or paint or something, make sure you clean off the tip because you don't want all this whatever junk to be stuck on there. Not a pro though, so I wouldn't know. Anyways guys, let's stain some wood.
have to heat it up to get the um, air bubbles out. I've seen people use a uh, torch as well as a, uh, a heat gun. I almost called that a hair dryer. I'm sure that would work too, but I think the torch works the best because it doesn't shoot air on it. It just heats it up really hot. But the heat gun, I think, is a close, close second. That's what we're doing. Get on the sides as well as the top. And it just takes a second of heating it up and all the bubbles will be popped and will be pretty awesome. This is our drying rack. This is a different project. We put the same stuff on it. Uh, right now my wife is checking the edges. Uh, for any dripping because you don't want it to drip because then you have drips like and you have to uh, sand. sand it and you have to uh, chisel at it if it's not going to come off with the sanding but uh, we're going to put the other one right up top here this whole thing is I'm not going to say perfectly level but it's mostly level you want it to be uh, as level as you possibly get it because like I said the stuff the stuff is self leveling and it will be like thicker on this side and thinner on this side and whichever way it's leaning. So uh, definitely want it to be uh, as level as possible. All right, so we uh, got these outside. I put tape around them, at least that one. I haven't done that one yet. And then, uh, so we're gonna put the tape on here so that when we put the super glaze on, the super glaze is self-leveling. So um, even if you brush it on as level as you can, and you set it somewhere to dry, it will self-level. So if you have it even a little bit off kilter, it will be it's wider or deeper on one side and not as deep on the other. And with these uh, stickers on here, I want to make sure that they are, um, or that it's going to be uh, uh, over the stickers, at least just a little bit, so that, uh, well, so there's no ledges in the super glaze and it's going to be a perfectly smooth, beautiful um, layer with nothing on there. So, uh, yeah, just want to show you guys that. Pretty easy to do, just some masking tape. Just make sure you, uh, you push on the edges. Uh, where it's taped at so that it can uh, you can make sure it is adhered and when you take it off you'll just have a small ledge on the edge here to uh, kind of lightly sand and you'll be set um, I don't know if you can tell how just beautifully smooth that is but wowzers that is gorgeous compared to so this one's basically done I'm going to put it over on the Rack to dry. Y'all, I am so excited about this right now. These are looking beautiful. Man, it's gonna be so cool. Oh, these are gonna be so beautiful. They're really beautiful. Ooh, yeah, that's beautiful. My goodness. Oh man, these things turned out amazing. Getting ready to take off the tape off the sides of these. I probably should have taken these off at like the two to three hour mark, but I was, I had forgotten. So um, now we'll just have to sand it, you know, sand the edges uh, a little bit and maybe even do a thin coat over it all one more time just to get the sanding stuff. Um, the sanding imperfections out I don't know yet but wowzers that is beautiful I already started down here and
Well, we finished it, you guys. This thing is wicked cool. I, uh... Really do like it. Works really nicely. These hinges are pretty awesome. You just have to hit the little things on both sides. It goes right down. It's pretty sweet. I'm trying to figure out a way to connect them together. But, um, that way you just have to hit the one little lever. But for now, I'd say it works out really nicely. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment down there. Have a good day, guys.